Uh, what's up Algebra 1? So today we're going to, in this video, uh, solve equations with variables on both sides. I want to introduce this new method called the decomposition method. So here we go. I'm going to decompose the purple color into its two uh, prime colors, red and blue. Now this is going to help me solve the equation. Right On the left side you see the red color plus the question mark is supposed to equal purple. Now, now that I decomposed or broke down the purple color, the answer becomes quite clear, right? I have the red color plus some sort of question mark, some, some other color is equal to the red and the blue. Well, I know that both sides have the color red both sides of the equation have the color red, so that means what's missing is the color blue. All right, so I can say that the question mark or the missing color is the color blue. Now this is the uh, decomposition method, and we're about to apply it into an algebra problem. So here's the algebra problem, 3x plus 5 is equal to x plus 9. I'm going to decompose the 3x so that it looks like the other side. I can decompose the 3x into x plus 2x, which is what's left over. Right? 3x becomes x plus 2x. I'm going to bring everything else down. So I have x plus 2x plus 5 is equal to x plus 9. Now check it out, I'm going to erase that x over there, I'm going to change it to a red x just to be very, very clear. Notice I have a red x on both sides now. Alright, so what's left over on the left side is a 2x plus 5, and on the right side I have a positive 9. That means that the 2x plus 5 has to equal the positive 9. And there I go. I have a two-step equation that I know how to solve. I'm going to subtract 5 on both sides. All right. And I get 2x is equal to 4. Sorry, you can't really see this. Um, I know it's kind of crammed in the bottom. My apologies. But you guys know 2x. You, know, you guys know how to solve 2x equals 4. You divide 2 on both sides, and you would get that x equals 2. All right, so we're going to do one more example. Here we go. In this example, I'm going to decompose the 9x. I'm going to break it down to make it look like the left side. So I know that I need to have a 6x. Well, if I have a 6x, what's left over is a 3x because 6x plus 3x gives me 9x. I'm going to bring everything else down, the minus 15, the equal sign, and everything on the left, 6x minus 3. So there's my new equation. And I see that I have a 6x on both sides. I'm going to erase the 6x on the left side and rewrite it in red to sort of emphasize this and make it very clear. I have a 6x on both sides of the equal sign. That means that the negative 3 has to equal the 3x minus 15. So I'm going to rewrite my equation. Negative 3 is equal to 3x minus 15. And there I have a two-step equation that I can easily solve. I'm going to add 15 on both sides of the equation. Alright, so I have 3x on alone on the right side because the 15's cancel out. Negative 3 plus positive 15 gives me positive 12. Alright, and to finish this problem off, I divide 3 on both sides and I have x is equal to 4.